Hey there guys. So today we're going to do one of my absolute favorite science experiments. We are going to plate a steel nail with copper using nothing but chrysocolla and HCl acid. Now for this experiment, we're not using any form of electricity. We are simply using the chemical reaction with the HCl acid and the chrysocolla. The HCl acid liberates the copper out of the chrysocolla and through another chemical reaction, we can plate it onto the steel nail using friction. Now, if you guys would like to do this on your own as a home science experiment, that would be awesome. But you need a few things first. You're going to need to acquire some hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, and you're gonna to need to dilute it down to 10%. You're going to need beautiful chrysocolla, which you can find on my website. You're going to need steel nails. Now this is just a regular 16 penny steel nail. There's no coating on it. Stainless steel nails won't work for this particular reaction. Then for safety equipment, if you have sensitive skin, go ahead and get yourself just some plastic gloves. Diluted HCl is not gonna burn your skin, but it is recommended to wash it off because it can dry your skin out. If, you have, if you're worried about getting really messy uh, and splashing anything, I would put on some safety glasses. For me, I've done this experiment quite a bit and so I feel pretty confident and safe to do that without any of those things needed. But if you wanna get them, it's highly recommended. I had already coated this square nail earlier. And as you can see, it's not just a simple displacement reaction where you can wipe the copper off of the nail, it's actually being plated on the nail. Although displacement happens, it's not superficial. This reaction is happening because the hydrochloric acid is liberating the copper from the chrysocolla. So you get an exchange where elements are replacing each other. In this case, the iron and the copper are replacing one another. The plating is happening because of the friction that we're creating while rubbing the nail on the chrysocolla in what is essentially an electrolyte solution. You only need a few drops of hydrochloric acid on the chrysocolla to start this reaction. You can immediately start rubbing the nail across the chrysocolla to start the friction process in the electrolyte solution that we've created. Here is where the exchange of ions starts and the oxidation reduction reaction begins. And just like that, you have plated copper on a nail. I let it dry before touching it just so that the hydrochloric acid doesn't get on my fingers. And if you leave it outside, it'll oxidize and turn bluish green. I really hope you guys enjoyed this little science experiment. It is truly one of my favorites. It's quite fascinating. It's great for little kids, it's great for adults. It makes a really cool party trick if you wanna freak people out because they don't think it's actually going to happen. And plating metal has been around for a very long time, especially if you're not using electricity. So this is a pretty sweet experiment. If you guys have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments or reach out to me. I would be more than happy to help you guys figure out how to do this on your own. If you guys need to purchase any chrysocolla, please go to my website and check out the other minerals I have on there as well. HCl acid can be grabbed from Amazon. It's pretty cheap to get their box of regular steel nails. The square nails are pretty cool just because they're more interesting, I think, than the round ones. And that's just me. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Please don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell icon, like this video, and share it with other science nerds. I'm sure they'd love to see it too. I haven't seen too many videos like this one out there, so I thought it was pretty cool. Anyways, you guys have an awesome day. Bye.